All right, so I'm gonna spend three minutes talking about what it means to be the shithole of the world. It's another three minute check-in. And today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about, I wanna to respond to, um, I don't know if people heard, but apparently uh, about a week ago, the president was having a discussion uh, about immigration and where uh, it would be more desirable to have people come from in terms of uh, gen uh, uh, immigration. And he said, you know, it'd be nice to have more people from like Norway and Scandinavian places like that, as opposed to having them come from, you know, these shitholes or shit houses in the world. It's not exactly clear what was said, but regardless of what the president said, whether or not he said that, um, you know, places like Africa and um, South America were shitholes or not. Uh, it's the, it's the kind of the rhetoric that's been uh, surrounding the issue, right? And it becomes a question of whether or not it's okay to call a place a shithole. Not really um, any type of analysis of what it means to be a shithole, right? Like, um, obviously, we're talking about these places as, you know, undesirable locations. They're bad places. And then what makes them bad? Is it that they're bad because there's a certain amount of poverty? Are they bad because there's a certain amount of violence happening in those parts of the world? Uh, are they bad because they're, you know, deserts and there's no resources there? Are they bad because, you know, what what is it? Is, are, they, are they bad because volcanoes are erupting there? Right, there's so many um, ways that one might measure the value of a location. And clearly these things are being measured by, you know, your, not just Western, but like your United States of American standards of like wealth and materialism, right? So if the people in that location don't fit our standard of what it means to be a human being, which in the United States to be a human being means you have a lot of shit, right? Um, and um, we may understand on an intellectual level that that has nothing to do with the value of a human being, right? It also means that we assume that because they don't have access to, people don't have access to the same type of tech, not technology and the, even the, the same types of luxuries that we may have access to, that they don't have, um, that they're not able to develop, right? So people, you know, because they don't have a great education system, they are not capable of educating themselves, for example. People can't, don't, as if people don't have access to books and certain levels of technology, right? There's also the type of knowledge that comes from one's relationship to the land, right? To nature and what's around them and one's adaptability, right? These are all forms of uh, development and education that we don't necessarily take into consideration when we're calling you know, people a shithole. So that's just a couple of thoughts around that. Uh, that's three minutes. So that's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing out. Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto. Big guns and dinky